the, the, the escape, escape pod. pod! Hello, I'm Robert the Robot. Robert says, welcome to episode 8 of the escape pod. Good to be back to fire up the old pod. Tom's accidentally lent on the ejector button, and you're listening to Escape Pod 8. Oh, okay. I guess I'm out of this one then. <laughs> I'll leave it to you. Allow me to get my Tom-sized fish net and scoop him back up for the episode. Hey, man. I'm back. Tommy, Tommy scared me for a second. Thank God you have that epic space suit. Just wanted to apologise for the delay to our loving audience who have tuned That's in. That's right, man. Let's get on. Whoa! Whoa! Tom, is that black hole? Me, black hole. Tom, a black <laughs> hole of stellar content. What are we going to do? It's coming! No! Well, that, that seems like an intro, doesn't it? <laughs> you kidding me? German woman claims Boeing 737-800 as her boyfriend and future husband. It was love at first flight. <laughs> I feel like they had a half story in for we need to use love at first flight. I yeah. refuse. I don't care if there's any truth to this story. Wait, but like, how's but uh, you got to ask? How's the sex life? <laughs> I mean, just sticking because... the fuselage. I don't know. What the fuck. <laughs> well, um, it's a little up in the air right now, but we're talking about it. A little up in the air. Gonna leave the silence in for that. A little up in the air right now. Generally, you'd hope a plane would be up in the air. The woman claims her family has taken the news of her long-time boyfriend quite pleasantly. I thought it was going to be like quite aviationally. <laughs> <laughs> like find an excuse. I want to marry my sweetheart and live together in a hangar. <laughs> 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 it's. This I is think... no time to hang her back, Tom. <laughs> I sleep with my darling every night, either with real components or a 1.6 metre model. Right. <laughs> Do you want to know what she calls the plane? <laughs> Plainy. She calls the airplane Shats. The two have been dating for five shats. years and she sleeps with her boyfriend every night, or at least parts of him. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what, you take like a chair? No, you know, she's got like, like, she has purchased components of the plane, such as the panel. <laughs> <laughs> just a side panel and bits of it, I guess. I can't wait to sleep with you, Ryanair panel. <laughs> why, why are they called shats? <laughs> I mean, she's obviously happy, so whatever. Like Super some people have alternative their things. to someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the great alternative to people. <laughs> No, I mean, that's what I mean. She's obviously happy. Good for her. If she can sleep with a chunk of metal, then she's obviously, I feel it's like obviously we, worth it. I feel like we really blur the line between, well, if he's happy, I'm. if they're happy, I'm happy. I mean, it's a plain talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not like you've married Dave down the street who's got a funny eye. It's a plain <laughs> can see past the exterior. Ah, oh, but what about Wonky Dave? Leave him alone, leave him alone. It's what's inside that counts, the <laughs> seats. I mean... Yeah, I don't know, but there's also the possibility that... I mean, it's not... It's harmless, but there is the possibility <laughs> that these people might be on the spectrum, I guess. I just don't... I just... I'm not, I'm not buying that. And she's certainly not going to buy the whole of it. <laughs> like, that's, that's a love that's unattainable, surely. Do you reckon it loves her back? I mean, like, imagine if you fall in love and then just buy someone's toe. <laughs> That's what it's like. We're in love. We're very much in love, me and Ray's toe. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Robert the Are you playing a game currently? I'm not. I can hear your bloody toggle bo bollocks, whatever it is. <laughs> Joysticks, Tom, you that's can, the thing. Tom, you can <laughs> touch my toggle bollocks. To so start the game, press right on toggle bollocks. <laughs> what a weird toggle cut. bollocks is one of my is what my like CBB show is going to be called. Okay. We're the toggle bollocks. Yay! I'm toggling my bollocks right now. Welcome back, kids. To toggle oh, oh, bollocks. Oh, 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 oh,
Don't toggle me, bollocks. I've been toggled already. <laughs> Why am I imagining just like a another Chuckle Brothers episode? <laughs> oh, Barry. Barry is toggling my bollocks. <laughs> I don't do no more toggling my bollocks there. <laughs> What's he doing there, Paul? <laughs> oh, I think he's talking about bollocks there, Barry. <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> it's your bollocks now, we're going to be to you. To the toggle vision, to toggle vision. Toggle your bollocks, toggle your bollocks. Show us your bollocks. That's how it ends. He just pops out with the logo. <laughs> he's your really close to the camera. <laughs> Show me your bollocks. Welcome back to the escape ball, baby. We missed y'all. What is your favourite beverage containing jalapenos? I'll start. <laughs> the jalapeno special. Uh, okay, that's very vague. Where do you get the jalapeno Main special? Main ingredient is jalapeno. Cool. No. Okay. So I'm confused. Why would you drink <laughs> this? Why do you have questions? I don't. <laughs> I'm being as clear as I can possibly be to you, Tom. I don't, I don't want I... this. Don't give it yeah, to but... me. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but like. Yeah, but how would you know if it's good or bad unless you've tried it? What I'm basically saying is, is drink my fucking jalapenos. <laughs> I don't want them. Well, you have to. <laughs> Tom, look. I'll, 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 I'll phrase it this way. The fucking drink my jalapenos or get the fuck out. Or I'm done. Or I quit. I mean, it's not a mate, Tom. I mean, I'm quite happy to jump out of this escape pod right the fuck now. Okay, so, fine. Like, maybe the jalapenos idea wasn't great, but, like, I was fielding the idea that maybe you could come up with a couple of... Jalapeno based cocktails that might actually get this business off the ground. <clears throat> Clearly, you're not on board with that, and the jalapenos thing was a fucking bad idea, but now I know. But, like, you didn't have to be such a dick about it. Well, I mean, I'm I was sorry, trying. I didn't realise it was actually that important to you. Um... I had, like, written down, like, a little concept and everything. I was gonna, like, get you to use your graphic design skills to have a funny looking jalapeno man um, <laughs> holding, like, a. <laughs> They're a, called a Mexicans, cocktail. you can't call them that. <laughs> That's incorrect. <laughs> Funny jalapeno man. <laughs> I just touched down in Mexico, like, yeah, funny jalapeno man there, funny jalapeno man there. <laughs> like, my name is uh, Pablo. But, uh, okay. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I love it. Alright, <laughs> I haven't got an article for this, Levi, but I've got a headline. Devon man used homemade guillotine to chop off his own hand before setting it on fire. Is there any context? That you can <laughs> nope. Get here? The link is oh. dead. There's a okay, dead link. So where do we where do we think that went? Why, well, firstly, why would you make a guillotine? I'm not what sure if he... and I mean the practical use. If you were to like make it and you needed it to cut cheese, quite to cut, tough cheese. I mean, it sounds like from the headline, it sounds like he made it specifically to cut off his own hand. Is there any kind of visual information here? A little thumbnail? No. There's nothing. I've got nothing so, for you. We have to use our emotion, imagination completely. I'm going to use my emotion and imagination for this <laughs> Imagination. One. I'm um, emotionally attached. It's also not clear if he set his hand on fire that he cut off or the guillotine. That's true. <laughs> I would like to think... I would like to think he maybe, like, barbecued his hand, because if you're going to cut it off, if you, what, you'd guillotine your hand and then go, well, the guillotine doesn't work, so I might as well set it on fire, and not be pressed about the fact that you've cut off your hand. I mean, there's a lot to unpack here, Tom, and it's bothering me. But yeah. I like to think that he wanted to make a guillotine for the sole purpose of cutting there off his hand. There are easier ways, though. Like, he was like, you know what, something's not right about this, I need to cut off my hand. Maybe I had a tattoo he didn't like. Yeah, exactly. And he did think to laser it off, he just wanted to cut it off. No, I don't need my right hand. Start fresh. It'll grow back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a guillotine and wait for it to pop on back. <laughs> It'll grow back. He, thinks he, he watched Deadpool and he was like, well, this is how it works. <laughs> well, there we go. Devon Man used homemade guillotine to chop off his own hand before setting it on fire. For regenerative purposes. <laughs> I hope one day the escape pod is blamed for something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll regret that later down the line. The escape pod made me eat a Snickers sandwich, and now I have diabetes. The escape pod made me dead. Now I am dead. Claims man who's now dead. <laughs> Claim man before dead. Before dead. Me before dead. <laughs> so relatable me. This me before dead.
My name is Mr. Levi, and I'm here to say rhymes are really okay. Yeah, take it, Levi. Don't get me started on those busty rhymes. Me and Tom are spitting bars all the time. Yo, my name is Tom, and I'm also here. I would like to take Levi out for a beer, but he just doesn't want to. Well, Tom, I told you I have my boundaries, and I told you that we should keep it soundaries. Okay, Levi, that seems fair. I just want to be with you there. I don't think you've specified a place, but that's okay. I am of the similar race. <laughs> All right, Levi, we'll go out. We could have some salmon or trout. And then how I'm gonna about... give your cock a knockabout. You just, did you just interrupt my rhymes? I didn't mean to interrupt. I, <laughs> I think your bars are corrupt. I've lost my flow, Levi Newman. Now I don't know what to do, man. I think this rhyme is finally gonna be done. Crash.exe. Wow, that was. Wow. That was something. I don't even think dental records are gonna be able to identify their bodies. <laughs> dental but... is gonna recognize. <laughs> <them>. <laughs> Den- <laughs> Denzel record. <laughs> <laughs> Dental record. No, Tom, this is this is very serious. <laughs> Just some bloke called Denzel Records <laughs> who goes around crime scene <laughs> identifying people. Denzel records everything. <laughs> And today's Japanese word of the day is the Japanese word for blueberry, which is booty You say words funny. Sorry? Do you say room or do you say room 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 room? Do I say room? I don't, say room. I don't know what I say. I definitely do say room as well. I always think you're going to invite me to your rumba ribbons. Which is <laughs> weird because it's in your bedroom. You can do rumba in my. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder why you wear that um, sequined suit. Well, yeah, in my like, house well, all the I time. assume that the leg warmers would help for, like, you know, help my calves. <laughs> a sequined suit and leg warmers. Well, yeah. And high heels. Well, how else am I going to work the leotard? Hey, you can't call me that, man. <laughs> what, are you leotarded? <laughs> Leotard DiCaprio. <laughs> Leotardo DiCaprio, Tom, you fucking uncomfortable <laughs> swine. Oh, right. Leotardo was my favourite turtle. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is bordering not okay. <laughs> it's bordering not content right now. Labour MP quits party because it's racist. Immediately refers to people who are a funny tinge. During a BBC <laughs> interview. Light racism moving podcast. <laughs> that was, I don't know if that was anywhere near light. <laughs> I trained for years not to be called light racist. <laughs> I got the pro version. <laughs> I didn't spend seven years in racist school to be called a light racist. <laughs> So I was talking to Edith the other day, she said I should check out the escape pod or something like that and I, you know what, I gave it a lesson, biggest all the shite I've ever heard in my life These fucking kids, you know what well, I tried it and it gave me the shits Have you got the hemorrhoids cream? I don't know why these kids are shoving podcasts up their ass, but it's not my trend I mean that's what we did back in the 60s anyway, wasn't it Bert? No, oh, but we used to just get Pens and pencils nowadays are using digital. Shove it up my ass. I just don't, I'm not about that. It's too much for me. I can't slip it up my back passage the way a pen and pencil could slide in there. Oh, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, but nowadays they're shoving calculators in their phones and their newfangled skateboards. Oh, don't get me started up calculators. They're putting in their Nokia mobile phones up their bottoms. And I, for one, will not stand by. 
was a sniper <laughs> digital cellular phone up their back passage. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't get past I'm that. telling you, Edith, you can laugh all you like, but it's too much for me. Bears, are you outside me? again? Come in, don't talk to those boys. Come on, come on. Just put those calculators back up your asshole. Come on. Pop them up, you gain knowledge. <laughs> this was a party political broadcast from the Conservative Party. Ah, uh, Deirdre and Edith. <laughs> like, they got all digital in our day, and we just put pens and pencils up our ass. It was practical! <laughs> it's just it was the digital alternative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the kids are doing it differently. <laughs> gone digital. <laughs> we, as in Everything's like, gone digital. <laughs> That was the analogue way. <laughs> <laughs> that was the record player of putting things up your ass. <laughs> Mum's bad hearing turns out to be 11 year old BB gun pellet. Now this is funny, Levi, because when I was about, you know, I might have been about seven, I, um, I took a BB gun bullet pellet thing and I put it in my ear and I had to go to hospital to get it removed Wow! and they put a little vacuum and sucked it out my ear I mean no one even shot it they could have just shot (laughs) another one in your ear lodging the other one out and then replacing that one that is true no one even shot it at me I just put it (laughs) no one even thought of that (laughs) fucking idiots okay well I just thought thought I'd share a um an actual heartbreaking story of my childhood but you're going to just laugh Tom, at Tom, I'm That's sorry fine. you didn't make the news because you stuck a fucking pellet in your ear. <laughs> I'm sorry that that wasn't newsworthy well, at the Well, this time. woman did somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She ain't shit. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Levi, until next time, it's been wonderful being back in the pod. Tom, I suppose, like the Germans would say, it's been wonderbar, but for now, wonderkins, we'll kind of have to see you on the next episode of uh, Escape Pod. The Wonder Pod. And you can catch us... Next time. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I was like, I was so tempted to just leave that for a second. (laughs) But, but no, but, but but in all seriousness, Tom, it's been nice to, uh, sail the, 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 the seas of space with you yet again. Oh man. Oh look a sparrow. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you take care, buddy. Yeah, you take care too, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>